we are ambassadors of Christ Jesus. We are his ambassadors. So, it is just because you were born in the U.S., just because you were born in England, or just because you were born in Australia, it does not mean that is your home. Yes, that is your birthplace, but that is not your home. That's why you see when somebody dies, the spirit returns back to God who made it. At the end of your journey, at the end of your life, you will have a report to make. You will have an account to give. God has sent you as ambassadors in the various countries that you are in. Some of you may be in the United States, others in England, others in Australia, others in different parts of the world. But no matter the place that you are in, know that you are an ambassador. And you have work to do. You were created with a purpose. You were created for a reason. You are not here by mistake. You are not here by coincidence. Just like a a manufacturer would make a shirt. The shirt I'm wearing was made by somebody. And it was made for a reason. Now, there's a reason as to why it was made black. And there is a reason as to why the colors that are on it were made that way. But if one day I wake up and this shirt is torn, and this shirt has lost its color, I will throw it away because it no longer serves its purpose. Now, just as a shirt was made for a purpose, that I would wear it and cover myself, it is the same thing. You were made for a purpose. You are on on this earth. Though you live in the world, you are not of this world. Let no one deceive you. You are never of this world. So you have a purpose. And it is time to discover why God created you. Some of you, God has spoken to you in your dreams. That's why you see I speak about, I speak about this, that God speaks in many ways. He speaks in many ways. He can speak through dreams. And we can know this in, when you read the scripture. God spoke to Joseph, the father of uh, Jesus, through a dream. And warned him that a herald seeks to kill the baby Jesus. Now, if Joseph had not, uh, 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 he, if he had not had the dream, if he did not understand the dream, Jesus probably would have killed at a young age. But Joseph was a man who knew the importance of dreams. So, brothers and sisters, you are ambassadors of Christ. You are ambassadors. Today's word comes from the book of 2 Corinthians 5, 20 to 21. 2 Corinthians 5, 20 to 21. It reads, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. For he made him who knew no sin to be seen for us, that we may become the righteousness of God in him. He made him who knew no sin to be seen for us, that we may become the righteousness of God in him. You are the righteousness of God. I know a lot of religious people would find problems with this statement. But this is what the scripture says. You are the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus, you are the righteousness of God. It is not your own righteousness. Because if it was your own righteousness, you wouldn't have made it. If it was by your own righteousness, you you cannot save yourself. It is the righteousness of God that we received. 
when Jesus comes and resides in us, we receive the righteousness of God. Everything that belongs to Jesus, he gives it unto us. You have received the righteousness of God. Wake up every morning. Every morning that you wake up, confess it. Speak it. I am the righteousness of God. It does not matter what I've done in the past. It does not matter how I feel like. I am the righteousness of God. Speak it out. Let your ears hear the words that you speak. Let it become a part of you. Brothers and sisters, you are ambassadors or for Christ Jesus. You are his ambassadors. So do what God created you to do. Do not allow the world to condemn you. A lot of people have lived so much into condemnation. To an extent that condemnation has become like their God. They have allowed people to say what they are not supposed to be. To call them names that they are not supposed to be. They have allowed the world to put price tags on them. To brand them with words and names that were never supposed to be their names. No wonder they are suffering in life. It is because those names are working against them. And I've spoken about this many times, that a name is important. That's why you see uh, Peter, his name was Simon, but Jesus changed his name from Simon to Peter. That upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hells, the gates of Hades, the gates of hell will not prevail. Names are very significant. Abraham, his name was changed from Abraham, Abraham to Abraham. Names are very important. Jacob, his name was changed to Israel. His name was called Jacob, but God gave him a new name, Israel. My God, may God change your name. May God change your name. Some of you have been given ancestral names, names of uh, demonic entities. But I pray that God reveals to you those names and God gives you new names. May God give you a new name. Brothers and sisters, today's message is that you are ambassadors of Christ Jesus. It does not matter what position you hold. It does not matter what status you hold. It does not matter how far you have fallen. You are still ambassadors for Christ Jesus. Well, I have come to the end of this message. And one thing that I would like you to do is share this gospel with somebody else. Let them know that they are ambassadors. Let them know, those that need confirmations, the word has already confirmed it, that you are ambassadors for Christ Jesus. Now go out and live for Jesus. Let the world know about who Jesus is. Do not be afraid, for he is with you. Well, until next time, shalom.